It's Friday. We have a guest anchor today, an incredible lady who you will know a little bit more about later on. But for starters, she is Tariro Washe, a Zimbabwean filmmaker and actress. Thanks for making the time to talk to me today. Thank you. It's so I'm so glad to be here, Isabel. How are you loving Rwanda so far? Rwanda is amazing. Every time I come here, I'm just blown away each time by its beauty. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we are so glad to have you. Now, I've been uh, looking at uh, the synopsis and trying to learn a little bit about this film, and I'm just loving everything about it. But the thing that caught my attention the most is your cast. I do see a lot of the big Rwandan actresses and actors. One of my favorite, Malaika Wamahoro, is actually in this movie. But uh, she, they are not acting alone. They are acting alongside other talented um, actors uh, from Senegal, from Zimbabwe. I'm curious, what were you looking for in the cast in the to cast. tell this story? So firstly, uh, so Africanda is a multinational collaboration. So we're looking to have, in this film, we have Zimbabwe, Rwanda, and Senegal. So we're looking to have actors from each country represented, actors who are very um, passionate about the craft and very who understand the importance of embracing our Africanism. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did you do you feel like you got the right? Hundred percent. Yes. Oh my goodness! I love, I love, I love uh, to see this uh, come to light. But that's not all. You were quite intentional with how you picked your movie sets, and uh, you picked uh, some of our iconic spaces like the. BK Arena, Mosanze Caves, I love the, uh, the cultural aspect that comes with that. But it just got me wondering, um, because one of the things you're trying to do is to travel through time, the past to the future with these spaces. So how were you able to transform them? Have you successfully been able to create the vision that you want? I think we have. I think we've managed to, to recreate the past. And it was very important we, when we were searching for locations to find locations that would freely allow us to transform and create whatever it is that we want to, 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 to create. Mm -hmm. And it's been really remarkable being able to go back to the past and make it so, um, so relatable yes. in, in the story and, and, and relevant in, in what we're trying to achieve with Africanda. Okay, well, can't wait to see the friends. But uh, let's also talk about uh, one of the things that really stood out for me in the synopsis, and that is the themes mm. that you explore yes. in this film. Some of them are quite heavy, like slavery stood out for me. But I want to hear from you uh, what those themes are, and also um, how you think they relate to the story you're trying to tell, but also the different uh, African audiences that you're targeting to speak to. So the main theme um, for, for Africanda is identity, and um, really realizing who we are as Africans. So many times um, African history starts with colonialism and slavery, mm -hmm. but it's Africanda tries to reimagine Africa and how our civilizations would have evolved had we not been interrupted. Mm -hmm. And so going back, even further back before slavery, further back before colonialism, mm -hmm. and basically re-educating our audience about who we were before these things happened, because we were great before all of this. Mm -hmm. We still are. Yes. What has shooting this film taught you in terms of identity what has been your biggest lesson on a personal level we are one we are one we have a cast and crew from Rwanda Zimbabwe Senegal Nigeria Kenya and just seeing all of us together create this beautiful story mm -hmm. I just realized that you know what we're actually one people who've been separated by borders mm -hmm. but all in all we are one people with one vision to bring Africa together and stand boldly and unapologetically apologetically African. Yeah, this seems to be a passion project. For yes, you. definitely. Yes, uh, but how does you being behind the camera and being in front of it, because you wear many hats, <laughs> you are not just producing in the projects, this particular one you are, but in some other projects you have been the actress on camera. Um, how does 
how does that work for you? What has been your experience? But I'm also curious about your creative process. Mm. How do you approach these two different roles? Mm. What goes into your preparation and where are you at mentally and emotionally when you are executing? So I think um, the two go very much hand in hand, even though one is behind the camera and one is in front of the camera. The core of me is to, to, to do things that I'm very passionate about, um, um, to portray um, characters that are very strong, that, that identify the strength of not just black, but black women, so black women. Um, and so I, those are the type of characters that I, I look to, to portray. And so my process is, as a producer, I make sure stories that I, I, I bring out to, to, the, to the world and bring out to, to the people is something that will be of motivation, something that will have social impact and a difference. And making, getting into that character, I, I put my all into ensuring that I'm able to, to channel what I believe um, is, is, needs to be, be um, to, to, be, to be received by, by the audience and what needs to be shown in terms of mm. blackness and black power and, and women. Okay, well, um, I did say earlier when I was introducing you that you are a president's daughter. Now, when I was growing up, my mom used to say, heavy is the head that holds the crown. <laughs> when you're first born in a household, you know, that comes with a certain level of responsibility, right. but also pressure. You are a president's daughter and you are a filmmaker. Um, how has that impacted your work? How how does that all fit in, in this story and this vision of you telling the African story? Well, um, I, I, I see myself as just my father's daughter. I don't see myself as a president's daughter, but I believe that each one of us has a responsibility to do the best that you can in the, the, the influence that you have. Mm -hmm. I've seen my father work um, his whole life to, to, to push forward um, you know, uh, the, the African dream, push forward you know, the strength and strengthen African people. And so that's something that's inherent in me mm -hmm. and in my in whatever sphere of influence that I am in, in my storytelling, I am very passionate about empowering and, and encouraging and uh, propelling um, African pan-Africanism, essentially. Wow. Well, we love seeing what you are doing. Thank and you. telling the African story is very important. When do we get to see this film? We are looking to premiere it uh, on Africa Day, actually, the 25th of May. Wow. This, wow. 2023. Yes. Wow. Looking forward to seeing it. But if people were to forget everything, you know, that they saw in that film, what are you envisioning that, what are you, envisioning that you want um, the viewer to walk away with? You said we are one. Mm. Yeah. But uh, what's the one thing that? really was at the core when you were creating this and you envision and you hope. That we you stand can. on the shoulders of giants. As Africans, our, where we come from and um, those who've come before us have done great things. And that we stand on the shoulders of giants and there's nothing that can stop us or hold us back from being the Africa that we want to be. Mm -hmm. Guarding that narrative, guarding that story you're trying to tell is, is really core. Um, are you in any way doing anything to make sure that the story that you're trying to tell is the story that is told? 100%. I'm fully passionate and I'm very intentional, intentional on ensuring that the story is, is authentically African. Yes. We have, Af it's all, the whole story, produced, written, directed by Africans. So keeping it authentically and unapologetically African. Mm. Yeah. Why Rwanda? You could have gone anywhere. Yes, you could have picked any other female uh, to co-produce yes. with, uh, but you chose Anik, you chose Rwanda. Why? I fell in love with Rwanda the first time I came here. It was actually last year in, in April. And um, I met Annette when I was here that first time. And it just made sense. And also just seeing the, the intentionality of and, and the the boldness of the Rwandan people, the, the pride that the Rwandan people have in terms of just, um, you know, national pride and just um, how, dignity, you know, mm -hmm. and that's something that is so beautiful and I wanted to, to connect with that and bring that um, to the forefront in, in film and mm -hmm. part of the African narrative. Mm -hmm. 
you are telling African stories, but there are other people outside of Africa that are trying to do the same. Do you have any thoughts on that or any advice really for African storytellers who have the platform, the resources, the opportunity to do what you're trying to do? If you have the platform, the access, the, the, the resources, you have no excuse. Go for it. Be bold. Be unapologetic. I like that. Um, and let our narrative be told because we yeah. can. We are the only ones who can authentically tell our stories. Absolutely. And so there's the time is now for Africa. The time is now for African stories to be told by us the African way. Be bold. Be unapologetic. The time is now for Africans to tell their story. We have to end. I wish we had more time. Uh, but before I let you go, what next for you? I'm, I'm quite curious. And also, what do you enjoy more? In front of the camera or being behind it? I, I enjoy... I enjoy being behind, being running things <laughs> that I enjoy. Um, and what's next? I think... Just continuing, because this film, Africanda, will be a series of films. So this is the first film, and then the next one will be a different set of countries coming together. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a big vision that I have. It's going to be a movement. I'm very excited to get out there and to start rallying the next generation with such um, pride and, and apologetically mm -hmm. African. And just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to... to, to, to push this movement that is Africanda. Okay, well, we're excited. We hope you come back for the next project yes. and the one after that. <laughs> well, you. Tariro, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. And so do you want to consider anchoring for your next career? I, I, I pretty I think much you enjoyed did really well. this. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, and I think they too agree. All right, now on that note, we have to say bye. All good things have to come to an end.